You fine, will you try my crepe? You are gonna make me a gym bean? Yeah. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of $20 Food Reviews. This is a series that I'm actually really excited about because I'm going to be reviewing $20 versions of food and letting you know if I think it's worth it. Now, the reason why I chose $20 is because $20 is definitely more expensive than average and it's not too expensive where you could never afford it. It's just something you probably couldn't do every day. So today I'm gonna be trying a Jianbing, also known as the Chinese crepe, popularized in Beijing. It has roots in Tianjin and long, long time time ago, Shandong, 5,000 years ago. I want to know what a $20 Jianbing feels and tastes like and is it worth it because in most cities in China, this thing can cost only $1. So I'm at Me Plus Crepe in Pasadena and I'm going to see if a $20 Jianbing is worth it. Let's go check it out. Elena, I would like to try all the different levels of Jianbing that you have. And since you're in Pasadena, yeah. you have to raise the price a little bit. Yeah, because since you know the labor, the labor cost, and all the food material cost, it's not the same as in China. Right. You know, you she, buy they're not running a street cart here, yeah. okay? Have you ever had a jianbing before? No, no, not here ever. What, what's your initial reaction? Oh, this is awesome. I mean, it had like the double down, it has like pork, duck, and spicy stuff in it, so like, this is, this is rad. I love savory, so that kind of like hits the I like how compact it is, and how like the folding process of the actual package is pretty nice, too. Do do you call it a jianbing or do you call it like a Chinese crepe? I just call it Chinese crepe. Okay, okay, so in my hand, guys, I have the original jianbing, which is $6 here. You can see, look at that jianbing, it actually smells really good. They have instructions here, peel and roll. Okay, kind of kind of hefty. You gotta have the crispy skin inside. Here you can choose between a Chinese donut, which is a yo tiao, or the guozi, which is like a fried one ton strip. It gives it that crunch, and then on the outside, this is a mung bean crepe. It's different than a French crepe, which would be like wheat flour. This is mung bean flour. It actually has less carbs and less gluten. Mm. Yo, the $6 Jianbing is definitely worth it, especially if you've never had a Jianbing. Right off the bat, I would say the original, definitely worth a try. Oh, hi! Zumi. Is there like a tag right now on my face, like Instagram tag? Can you put it here? We are going to and then so we are going to Jianbing, and then we are going to Jianbing, and then we are going to Jianbing, and then we are going to Jianbing, why does that sound more like Spanish? It had the rhythm of Spanish. Da, 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 da. What, you're on Weibo and TikTok? I do like comedy skits and vlogs. I do like uh, struggles with a tall girl. How tall are you? I'm like 5'8". That's pretty tall. So now we got the vegetarian jambing and it's like $10. This I've is never had a $10 some... jambing before. This is a $12 jambing but this has cumin lamb. Okay, yang rou chuar. They have different design for this what, what package. Does that say? So here's like... The people who call you at night to go to club doesn't love you. But who take you to Jambi in the morning definitely they love you. This is spicy, right? Oh, this is spicy too. Okay, got the spicy oil. Damn, this is thick. This is definitely the American way to eat a Jambi. <laughs> Cumin and cilantro are often used in Chinese cooking, especially more of the Western Chinese cooking, like the Islamic influence. I'm hungry. So this veggie one has the lettuce, cucumber, and then cilantro in it. Listen, if you're vegetarian, try it. But if you don't have to get it, I think get the ones with meat. Yang Rou Jianbing. You're getting the two main things that people love, which is the lamb skewer and the Jianbing. It's like a uh, lamb burrito kind of. And this one, $12, that's worth it. Of the cumin, the chili, and the cilantro. Mm, it's probably tastes like Yang Rou Okay, $12 is worth it. <laughs> 
I mean, I'm not gonna lie, there's actually a lot of meat in there. Uh -huh. That actually is really worth it, I would say. Mm. Did you order the one with the yolk tail? We usually like Westerners sit on yolk tail. Yeah, that's true. Or Chinese like we eat this. But I feel like this is a very crucial element of the jianbing mm. because it makes it crunchy. Yeah. Otherwise, the jianbing would be soft. One more sound. We took all the crackers from the veggie one. Now it's just an omelet. Do you think in China you could serve the Yangro Jianbing for 30 kwai? If you got like good customer service like in here and then like fancy decorations, right. then probably, but if it's just like a street food, no. So, what does it mean to be an international student where now you're seeing the Jianbing, a cheap street food, being served in Pasadena? <laughs> I feel like it's a cultural invasion, man. It's like I'm so proud of my country right now, I'm so proud of our food. What else do you think, street food wise, can be popular in America? Have you tried Tang Yu Baba? Very popular kind of street food okay. in China. All right. Yeah. You said it. Okay, now we have come to the $20 Jianbing. Now, what I had to do to make this $20 is actually there's a couple add-ons. So the Peking Duck Jianbing originally cost about $14, and then I had to add on an egg, sausage, and avocado. So now this is officially the most expensive Jianbing I have ever eaten in my entire life. Yo, yo, this thing is hefty. I think this is at least a pound. Dang. Okay, so you have the sausage, you have the Peking duck, avocado, you have cucumber, you have cilantro, hoisin sauce, you have some chili paste. I, I don't think a lot of people could fathom paying $20 for a jam bing. Obviously, the dollar version even in China does not have this much stuff in it. Yo, avocado in a jam bing, you wouldn't have thought it. Dang, for 20 bucks? It's actually pretty good though. So Peking duck is actually really fatty, it's succulent. It actually is pretty good. So what is that? Is that right. Peking duck? Yeah, this is Peking duck. Oh my god, it's so good. In your opinion, being an international student who is from Changsha and went to school in Beijing, <laughs> what are you rolling with? The taste is better than the one dollar jamie I had in Beijing. And then definitely the street vendor won't put Peking duck in it. But here you can get the, the Chinese sausage and then the Peking duck. Even though it's $20, it's like, I miss home. Worth it, yes or no? Definitely worth it. Wow. Zhen Zhen, he doesn't know what that means, right? Yeah, I know what that means. What, what that means? Oh, like legit? Yeah. Oh, Ren Zhen. Okay, guys, I'm really glad I tried the $20 Janbing. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you my opinion on whether I think the $20 Janbing is worth it or not. Outside. Yifan, will you try my crepe? Will you try my Janbing? You are gonna make me a Janbing? Yeah? Am I gonna get poisoned? I still have a class today. Okay, so I'm gonna pour it, smear it, pop it, crack the egg, sprinkle the seeds, pick it up, flip it over, spread it on, slap on the ingredients, then roll it up. I'm gonna wear gloves, not because I want to, but because I have to. It's the law. Right? <laughs> no, like the, the you know the stick for the wooden uh -huh. like kind of getting it. It's no, okay, you'll get it the second time. <laughs> you didn't see that. All right, I'm rolling with this one. I'm rolling with this one. Look at that. Isn't that a nice little tree? And he lives right here in this brush. I made my first Jan Bing. Who wants to try it? <laughs> Would you please taste my Jan Bing? 
This is how you eat jian bing as a Chinese. You don't cut it. You just bite it. Hold up. Hold up. You don't laugh after you eat that. The only thing I can taste is the cream and the yu tiao. That's it. This is for first try. Okay. Ren zhen. Ren zhen. Ren zhen. In Chinese, we say if you eat someone's food, say something good about it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Is the $20 jian bing worth it. If you've ever eaten a Janbing that you liked and you love to see the elevated version, I would definitely try the $20 Janbing once. But I actually think that the $6 Janbing, the original one, is actually the one you should definitely start off getting. I think the original one is really good. My favorite was actually the cumin lamb Janbing. Hey, shout out to everybody else in the kitchen of me and Crave. Let me know what other items you want to see me review the $20 version of. I'm Andrew from the Fun Bros, and I'm out. Peace! All right, so another thought came to mind is that after talking to a lot of people there, they had actually never even heard of a Jan Bing. They hadn't even heard of a Chinese crepe. So me and crepe is actually introducing the Jan Bing to people here out in Pasadena because if you made people go out of their way just to try a Chinese crepe, not that many people would go. But since it's down the street from their offices, they'll actually give it a shot. And so that way they're actually being introduced to the Chinese crepe. Shout out to them. I think it's important.